I was saying that they shot that with their iPhone, but way back when that was done, there were no iPhones. <laughs> That's true, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is my last and final guest for Monterey on tonight, show number 78. This is my friend, Teeny Shake. Yes, we are. Welcome to Monterey oh, on tonight. This is your second appearance. No place I'd rather be on a Sunday night with a great uh, television host, Garrett Morris. Good to, right, you. Good you, to be with you. I love you, man. Good to be with you. Love you. You are the best. Oh. On St. Patrick's Day. On St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you wear green today? I did, so oh. I didn't get any pinches today, ah. you know. So I, was, uh, I didn't wear any green. No yeah. green, that's yeah. okay. That's all right. Don't we have that. fun anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Teeny's here because he knows how to have fun, and we invited him back because he's got a lot of stuff going on in Teeny's world. That's what I say to him when I call him. Teeny, what's going on in Teeny's world? Boy, I'll tell you, it is nonstop. You know, uh, for for the people that are watching out there, uh, actually October 17th is going to be the first annual Firefighters Ball and yeah. Cooking Show competition. Yeah. So we're actually going to pair the firehouses against each other wow. in a cooking competition that's going to be overseen by the American Culinary Federation, oh my goodness. which is the largest chef's organization in the United States. Uh, they will be overseeing the whole cooking competition and picking the winner of the best food in fire stations how, in Monterey County. How did you guys come up with this great idea? Well, you know, we wanted to do something to honor our local heroes. Our fire departments are amazing. The firemen uh, and firewomen that are just incredible, the work they do to protect us, to yeah, absolutely. You know, really preserve our beautiful area. They work so hard. So we wanted to do something that honored them. And what a great and idea. And also to raise a little bit of money for some of the yeah. different community organization projects that they have, which are really incredible. So Super. that's kind of how this whole thing started. And it really is just starting to grow uh, exponentially. Okay, so at a October great the 19th, 19th at the Monterey Marriott Hotel. Uh, great uh, place. And... Uh, what time does it start? Uh, it's going to start at 5 p.m. We'll have a great reception. Now, this is called a ball for a reason. It is a upscale uh, black tie, Ooh. ball and gown, uh, music, the food. It's going to be a wow. really first class event. Roll out the red Roll carpet. Roll out the red carpet. They're going to have fire trucks out front. Oh, great. Uh, and really just going to be, there's so much effort going into this. But uh, we're looking to just not only have a lot of fun, but to raise money for the great uh, firefighters. I saw you are the chairman. I am the chairman. Uh -huh. So this is an event. You know, our family's done the Salvation Army for I 15 years. Yeah. And and uh, and I had a little time. And, of course, I can't just sit around, Gary, you oh, know, and do yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Teeny's world is always busy. I love it. Teeny's <laughs> so, world. I so love I was Teeny's like, world. you know what? Uh, I have a dear friend of mine that's a local Monterey firefighter, him and his dear wife. And we were talking and... It's like, you know what, let's do this event. Let's put this event together. So made a few phone calls. Uh, matter of fact, we just got Al Jardine of the Beach Boys oh, great. as one of our host committee members. Oh, wonderful. He's really excited about it, supports it. And uh, just a lot of people getting on board. But if anybody's interested, definitely reach out to me. Oh, well, and yeah, we can, and if you uh, want to find you Teeny, you can always find Teeny through me, Gary at KMBYTV.com. I'll send over your request to Teeny, whatever you want to talk to him about because nobody writes down phone numbers i could give out his number now but you guys are nobody's got a pencil that's it call gary he'll get a hold of me I'll send and it we, right will, over to we will take and get you connected with this amazing local event absolutely uh, that's put that be banner up one event. more time dylan that's a nice looking banner there. thank you october the 19th monterey marriott hotel and it shows there where you can get uh, your tickets uh, we'll get a hold of Gary, and we'll yep. give you, we'll send you the link. Absolutely, and it will sell out quick. I will tell you that I, people I are, can people see are that. buying tickets very quickly. I see that. But black tie, wow! Black tie. Let's step it up. Let's have some yeah, fun. Yeah, you, know? you want to really knock it out of the exactly. park, exactly. Bring Teeny. the ball and gown, and uh, we're going to have some great dancing. All right. And, and just now have that's a good time. just one thing in <laughs> Teeny's world. True. Okay, let's go to number two. Number two. Uh, well, you know, I'm also a chef. <laughs> So they asked me to do a cooking demonstration at whale watching down at Fisherman's Wharf in uh, April. And they asked me to do calamari. Ah. So I am going to do calamari this year. Uh, and I'm going to take and do it probably three different ways. 
and I'm going to try to wrap it all up in about a 20-minute cooking okay, demonstration. Okay, now when is that going to be? That is April the 13th and 14th. It's a Saturday and April Sunday. April 13, 14, yeah, it's Saturday, Monterey. Sunday. Yeah, Whale, Whale Fest. Will that be in Fisherman's front of your Wharf. restaurant? It will. It will be in front of Kokomo's Grotto Fish Market on the Wharf. And uh, come on down. I'll have recipes for you. Uh, we're going to take it, like I said, do calamari, which you know, we also known as the uh, – it's the second largest industry that we have in the seafood area for California. But number one, uh, calamari, Monterey Bay, it's massive. So uh, we are the capital of the world right here in Monterey. We have sardines and then went to calamari. And, of course, there's so many things okay. that we are Here's phenomenal. the question. Here's the question. Calamari. W- how about squid? Yes. So squid and calamari actually from the same family is a little different. But, you know, uh, we're going to take and give you an education of where the cal- why we're the capital of the world. And I'm going to show you some great techniques. I'll give you a little tip. Calamari has to be cooked less than five minutes or more than 20 minutes ah. to get it past that rubber band texture. Ah. And I know some of you have had calamari and been ah, it tastes like, you know, rubber band. Yeah. That's because it wasn't cooked right. So I'm going to teach you some techniques on how to prepare calamari the right way. And again, less than five minutes or more than 20 minutes. But come down for a great recipe, great cooking demonstration, and something you can do at home, most importantly. April 13th and 14th. And yeah, you know, two days. You know, and I met several years ago, probably 15 years ago, maybe longer, when he was doing a cooking show called Coastal Cuisine with Chef Teeny Shake. And it was a series of half-hour shows, and we put them on in Fresno. And as I said to him way back then, I said, Teeny, I'm going to make you a TV celebrity. And guess what? Because he was on TV and he was cooking, and it was all fish, right? It was. It was Italian seafood uh, yep. that we were doing, but it was all seafood. And Gary, you know, I want, I, I can't thank you enough because <laughs> he, Gary put me on television yeah. that jumpstart my career. My career. I cooked all over the United kid, States. Man. You were just Young a kid, kid at that yeah. time. And the uh, to be able to go across the country to cook, uh, and cook, do cooking demos. I was at different food shows, and the only chef out of Monterey County that's ever cooked at the White House. So uh, thanks to Gary, love this guy, celebrity uh, chef, made me Monterey. a celebrity chef out of the Monterey Peninsula uh, to the entire nation. And it is really interesting when I would walk around. And people would come up. At first, it was intimidating. Yeah. People would ask for an autograph or take a picture. And here it's been, you know, 17, 17 18 years, years later. And everybody knows Teeny. And people still come up to me at Fisherman's Wharf and ask for pictures and autographs. And I always feel so humbled and honored. Because Santa Qu- San Joaquin it's Valley great, viewers, yes. because we ran the show yes. every day, Monday through Friday. And so it was on TV every day for a half hour. And Gary, you taught me one thing, the power of television. Amen. And it is Amen. very powerful medium. I thank you so much for that because we've had a great time over the years. And uh, did you, you, did, you, you were on your way over here tonight, but uh, you, I'm going to send you the clip of the show. But I got a, a call from a fan. Uh, you're going to hear that when you watch the show. And also a gentleman over in the Valley from Hillmar, Tony Rodriguez, called. And so I'm getting calls now because the show is on 24 hours a day in Fresno and Monterey. So there's a lot of opportunity to see all these 78 shows now. So we're getting a lot of feedback from viewers like you out there. And it's so gratifying because, you know, I'm doing this for fun, just to have a good time. And I do every Sunday night. And when guys like this come on the show, I, it's just it makes it a party. We're having a party out in the green. We room. are. We have fun. You know, and I think that's the one thing that uh, we do enjoy our life. And uh, you know, in Teeny's world, there's more things going right, on. What else? Gary. What All else? Right. So, for those of you that don't know, not only am I a, a chef, a restaurateur, but I am also a realtor. Yes. So I have my own real estate company called the Shake Real Estate Group, and I have the privilege of being able to sell amazing homes to amazing families and individuals on the beautiful Monterey Peninsula. Uh, I also sell commercial buildings and and business sales. So I sold quite a few restaurants last year and uh, from, for some great entrepreneurs out there. But it's interesting because I always thought as the real estate uh, part, which I've done my whole life for my family, and and it was, it's been interesting because you know I have people that would talk to me about, well, why don't you take and do a cooking show? 
And I was like, well, I might be a little too old for it. Or, you know, yeah. I had a great career doing that. But what we are going to do, and again, Gary, you're coming back. So you're not retired We're yet. We're going to do real estate. Gary's coming back. We're going to do an open house cooking show there you go. that is going to highlight some amazing homes on our peninsula with gourmet kitchens. And we're going to do a three-course meal that you can actually do at home and have the recipes available to you. So it'll be fun and entertaining. You know, let me tell you you about if you hook up with this guy. Okay, so let's say you're over in the San Joaquin Valley. You're watching this show tonight on Channel 16.1 or you're watching it on the repeat. If you want to know everybody, everybody in Monterey, this is the guy to come over and meet because he knows everybody. So he could be your realtor and you go, hey, Teeny, I want to meet that guy that uh, runs a sardine factory. Sure, I'll take you over. You want to meet Bert? You want to meet Ted? Who do you want to meet? Uh, exactly. Right? And you know, and it's interesting because I really feel as a realtor, I have an unfair advantage being born and raised in Monterey that I know all the ins and outs, the history. So not only can I sell you a great home, but I can also make sure that you're in the right neighborhood that really meets your criteria. Because I know the ins and outs. I know about the schools and I know about the neighborhoods and, and probably know most of your neighbors. <laughs> and uh, uh, I had I had one uh, guy that I sold a house to. And he's like, you know, I really want to meet the mayor of Carmel. No and problem. No problem. So I hooked him up and uh, we met Dave the mayor Potter. of Carmel. And so it's just a, a great thing to have a lot of insights. And uh, I work just as hard for you in yep. real estate as I do with our customers at our restaurants and our family. You know, we've been doing the uh, hospitality a long time, and I do the very same thing in real estate. You know what I say? It's, this is my line now. It's not what you know. It's who you know. You know this guy, you're going to know everybody. Come on over here from the coast. Meet Mr. Teeny Shake, and he'll take good care of you, whether it's on Fisherman's Wharf, whether it's in real estate. He's my guy. And, I, I and he's a great that. guy. You're going to love him. Well, I definitely look forward to meeting and talking with you folks if I can ever assist you uh, with your real estate needs. But, you know, like I said, not only will I sell you a deal, I will cook you a meal. Oh, so I every love house. That. Oh, wait a minute. With, I got to write every, that with wait, wait a minute. I got to write that down. Meal. Say that again. <laughs> so, with every house I sell, I not only sell you a deal, I cook you a meal. So, oh, that is wow. my gift. Yo, know, you can buy a house in a realtor. They'll send you a great gift, maybe a gift basket. Maybe they'll send you a bottle of wine. But I will cook you a gourmet oh. meal in your house for your guests. Such a uh, deal. And, and then, listen, that's going to be. I do that for be... every house, no matter what level the price is. That's... I will come personally and cook a meal at your house. That's going to be tough to beat. We're oh going to do goodness. it. Oh, wow. Teeny, I, you got to put that on your business card. We're getting together. That's what you and I are working <laughs> on. So we're going to get this open house cooking show uh, on air pretty soon. Well, here. great. great. I fun. look forward to it. And I, what a great idea. You know, go into these beautiful homes, set up the kitchen, get the cameras going, and show it on television. Yeah, and that's the exciting thing because people love behind-the-scenes things. Yeah. They love to be able to see open houses. Uh, I was just in a $22 million home oh. that was just spectacular. Now, of course, that's at the high level of things, but yeah. there's also some amazing homes that you're know, under a million dollars. You'd be very surprised. They're just beautiful kitchens and uh, they're great family lifestyle, you know, areas. So uh, it's exciting. You know, I'm looking forward to that. But we're going to cook some meals, show you this great home, and it's going to be an entertaining, what a fabulous, something idea. that you can watch on television. Going to have, have a, a party. Time. We're going to have a party. Every every show is going to be a party. It'll be epic. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. When is this going to start? Let's do it right away. Well, I have a producer sitting next to me here that... Uh, I can't uh, wait. I know. Gary and I have been talking about this for a bit. So, folks, it's going to be coming soon, and uh, we will keep you posted on it. But we're very excited to uh, be able to do this great Okay, that's a one, two, three, ten, Teenies World. What's number four? Oh, Teenies World, but I'll tell you, we are really... Uh, we're, we're rocking everything, so... Uh, lots of lots of things happening. Just you know, uh, you're it, amazing. It's it's, uh, it's, it's an, an everyday thing. You're Just an amazing guy. Do you on. ever do you ever take a day off? Do you ever rest? You know, uh, <laughs> when I'm dead, I got plenty of time to sleep. So oh, right now, I love that line too. <laughs> Yeah, so, didn't your mom use that line? Is she my my mom's ninety two years old? Uh, what a beautiful mother we have, uh, Italian, and uh, you know Isabella, she, Isabella, Isabella with the big wooden spoon, yeah. raising six boys and no girls. Uh, uh, wow. You know, I don't know how she did it, but 
We're very blessed to have our mother with us. And, of course, the uh, founder with my dad, the old Fisherman's Grotto Restaurant on Fisherman's Wharf in 1950. Uh, just celebrated 73 years on Fisherman's wow. Wharf. I so just, I just, a lot of history. In I just had your friend Bert Catino on a couple yes. of weeks ago. And uh, thank you for calling in. You called in when uh, Bert was on the air. And Bert said that uh, your father said to him and to his partner, uh, Ted, uh, you take care of my boys. Exactly right. You and make sure they're good boys. Yes, that's right. And, you know, with the Italian mob, they have the consigliere, the advisors. And that's what uh, Bert and Ted have been yeah. to our family. My yeah. brothers and I, we love Bert. Keep you guys in Ted. check. Keep us in check. We, yeah. you know, we call them for advice. We call them for directions. And they've always been dear friends. Yeah. And uh, well, you guys have done good a, friends to our family. Tini, your family has done so much for this Monterey Peninsula the wonderful things you've done for the Salvation Army and now starting to do for the firefighters. God bless you. You know, Gary, I think it's that whole thing, you know, that you receive in order to give. That's right. And I think that's what life's about, that, you know, no matter what level you're at, how, you know, what you have, but we always keep a tender heart to be able to give. And that's what my mom and dad always says. You receive in order to give. Amen. So as you do well Mother in your Teresa, life. Mother Teresa, too. I had the privilege in 1991. I was on a trip with my dad, mom, and my wife, Tracy. And uh, my dad's family lived right next door to Mother Teresa's convent. And so I got to meet Mother Teresa, not only meet her, but spent a half a day with her. Mm. And she actually signed my Bible, Gary. Oh, and, wow. Because uh, wow. I asked her, I said, Mother Teresa, how do you take care of all this need? It would seem so overwhelming and mm -hmm. even depressing at times. And she wrote down in my Bible, uh, keep the joy of loving in your heart, which is Jesus, and share this joy with all you meet. You so go. that's what Mother Teresa wrote. And, you wow. know, I'm so that's, honored that I had a chance beautiful. to meet her before she passed away. And uh, a life-changing experience. And did you catch that part a little bit earlier, the only chef from the Monterey Peninsula to cook at the White House? I'll tell you what, you got to come down to the war for that cooking demo. It's it's free. It's available. Come on down. I'll have some recipes. I will be promoting and that on all I our will shows. I will cook for you, yes. Teeny, up, up until the 13th and 14th, we'll be promoting your your extravaganza cooking show. We'll down have there. fun down there. Yeah. Looking forward to that. And I want to thank... Uh, uh, Wendy Brickman and, and uh, the Wharf Association for putting on this great event. Yeah. Every year, Wellfest is so much fun down at the Wharf and, and educational. It's free, fun for all the family to come down. So There's so much going on here on the Monterey Pen Peninsula, you folks that are watching over in the San Joaquin Valley. Yes. Come on over. Remember, call Mark Capital of the World. We're the garlic capital of the world, the salad bowl capital That's of the it. world. We have world-class golf courses, world-class racing, uh, world-class neighborhoods. Come to Monterey and enjoy a great weekend Absolutely. down here. And, and come and see us down at Fisherman's Wharf. Absolutely. Uh, I'm usually down there on the weekends. Uh, uh, yeah, so anybody come down. Make Kokomo's. sure. Kokomo's. Uh, Go look for yeah, them come at Kokomo's. See me. It's when you walk lobster. down the wharf, it's on the right side. Yes, and we do. We have the only live crab and lobster tank on Fisherman's Wharf, about 10 to 12 minutes. Hot steamed garlic butter roasted crab or lobster. You're going to go crazy. You're going to love it. Come down. Let me make it for you. This guy's something else. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Honor to be here, Gary. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to get back to a little bit more Luther Vandross. And then it's time for Dylan Holmes and his three videos of the night. So stay tuned.